a multi-channel stems for everything. Wow. Yeah, everything is so. stems now. <laughs> It's all stems. Everything stems. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so thank you for that uh, super chat, though, Plutonium Shore. And we have Mr. Andrew Hawkins. He is, of course, our super sponsor. Uh, Andrew is the owner, runner, main talent, super awesome guy over at <laughs> Freaky Fandoms. So we will take a moment here to mention Freaky Fandoms. They are doing a 60 Days of Halloween episode series of episodes and they're now to part three which features a bunch of spooky movies including a movie yes. called spookies spookies i didn't see spookies but i saw some on that list i've seen quite a few Trick of these tree, they're, howling too they're all kind of horrible but they're they're <laughs> charming in their horribleness um, but of course freaky fandoms is our largest sponsor so if you do have some time and you want to see something freaky uh, you could head over to freakyfandomspodcast.com. Of course, all the links to that are in the description below. You can check out their podcasts. They, too, have a Patreon. So remember that when you support Freaky Fandoms, you're also helping to support us. Spread the love around. Please do. And then Andrew <coughs> uh, is still spreading the love, he says. He is. Um, there's a question for Chris. I got to remix your song Fine a while back and had a great time. Any plans to do something like that again where fans can remix your music? Maybe with Alice uh, Stems. I, I would love to, Andrew. That's, <laughs> yeah, we did, for those that don't know, we did a, a I forgot who sponsored it, um, but we did a, it was a tweaker remix contest. And so I, we took one of the songs from the last album uh, called The Time Eternity. And we posted, um, here's the word, stems again, and and opened it up and just gave those away and then did a contest and then um, picked winners. And, and um, it, it was really, man, there were some really good uh, things. I remember me and, and, and my, uh, my partner at the time, Jesse, we just sat there for like, because there was, I can't remember how many we got, a couple hundred remixes perhaps wow. and just sat there and i and i actually did listen to every single submission um I thought if someone was going to take the time to actually do it i should take the time to listen to it so and, is that know, is that something you think we should sort of pre-plan that we acquire uh, the rights so that when we release a new alice game there's something in there that allows the release of the stims and then some sort of how would you go about that sure. I would think that'd be awesome. Um, you know, it, you have such a good relationship with, with all the fans, you know, watching all the chats going by and with Patreon and everything else. And I, I would think something like that would be pretty exciting to, to actually do, you that'd know, to, to incorporate that as well. I think it'd be great. But it's something we have to remember to ask for up front when we do the license agreement uh, with EA, because if we don't ask for it uh, and then we don't have it, so I will, I will make sure to pencil well, that in. Jot that down. Yeah. And, well, yeah, um, you have my permission, but I guess yeah, it's all you know, we get in. Now we get into business legalities and work for hire contracts, and that's always fun. Things that are boring to talk about. <laughs> but hey, you know, if it weren't for that, uh, you wouldn't have been the one making the music on on the first Alice game because I think. We kind of had Manson slightly on board for a while there, yep. and then because of business stuff, it all blew up, and so <laughs> you came in and it's saved so the day. It's so funny. It's always business that ruins the art, isn't it? It's, it's always, insane. you know, it always makes something not be able to happen, or or it leads to bad blood. Yep. A lot of times yep. on both sides of things, it's always it's it's always that business thing that gets. Well, I mean, I think. People outside of these circles don't realize that, okay, yeah, you got to get the artist's permission, but then the artist has a manager, an agent, a lawyer, probably another lawyer that represents the label and or the band. Um, and then, you know, it could even just be like there's a partner in the mix somewhere who plays a kind of dual role as a manager or an agent. <laughs> so if, if you can't get like those six people to line up, you're screwed. 